guys good morning i think today is officially marking like one week of daylight savings and i figure with the new spring ahead of us it's time for a new spring routine well not really a new spring routine just like a continuation of the routine i've always done but maybe with a little more pep i'm gonna show you today what a slow sunday in my life looks like right now i don't want to call this a morning routine video just because most mornings i don't do this because who has time and i guess this is more of a sunday afternoon routine because i can't get my ass out of bed until 12 pm it seems like also i figured this video would be a great time to introduce a new favorite product of mine and that is the magic mind productivity shots most notably they are made of matcha as well as tons of other vitamins and minerals that just help you have a productive start to your day you can see i've taken a lot out of the package already but the packaging is so cute like oh my gosh just so neat and tight and compact. But yeah, anyway, these have been my current go-to these days because I don't know about you, but coffee just makes me so freaking jittery every morning. Like to the point I'm not productive anymore. Like it just amplifies my ADHD. And also I drink my coffee with a lot of sugar. I don't like it without the sugar, so it's not an option for me. And the sugar just makes me like this. And I get really happy and excited, but that's not really great, especially when you're working from home. So yeah, these are really nice, super convenient. I like to put mine in the fridge because I prefer mine chilled. Um, but I think if you were extra creative, you could also mix them with like lemonade. And maybe if you were extra, extra creative and you were in the mood to day drink, you could even make some kind of green tea health cocktail of these. Yeah. Also, this is like kind of like green juice and green juice is so freaking expensive and um, you have to like go out into one of those like specialty places and get it. At least in a place like New York you do. So these are like a little luxury to have in my apartment. Cheers to new products and to welcoming the spring with more productivity and hopefully making better decisions. If you guys are interested in this product, you can go into my description bar and check out my discount code where you can get up to 56% off your first subscription of Magic Mind for the next 10 days. Back to the routine. We're gonna start in the bathroom. I feel like every routine starts in the bathroom. Squatting low for my tripod right now. So first, we're gonna wash my face. So usually I just put, just rinse water on my face. I'm gonna squeeze a couple pumps of the cleanser. Massage it into my skin. All right, so once I've cleaned my face of the cleanser, what I like to do is go into the fridge and grab my face mask. This is a currently the face mask that I'm using. I actually got this through an Instagram collab, but it's by Wen Beauty and I've really liked it so far. And put your face masks, especially like your clay masks in the fridge. It makes it really nice and cooling when you apply it to your skin later on. All right, we're going to apply this face mask in my kitchen or the living room area right now. And we're gonna pray to God that my roommate doesn't walk in on me because that would be really freaking embarrassing. Um, but I, oh my God. <laughs> anyway, but I like the lighting in here better. So we'll just get this done quickly. So once that's on my face, I like to let that sit there for like 15 minutes. I know the package says like 10 minutes, but I like to get the most bang out of my buck personally. And I like to keep it on my face, maybe like double the time it suggests. I don't know if that does anything, but I like to think it does. Okay, so it's been around 15 minutes and this next part of the routine is my favorite. So what I like to do is I like to take this kettle, heat up some water, and then as the water gets really hot and starts to evaporate and kind of turn into this steam, I literally will just put my face up to the nozzle and steam my face. And this is actually a really good two-in-one solution because not only do you get to steam your face, but you also get some hot water out of it. Perfect opportunity to make tea or hot chocolate. As I said, normally I would have the magic mind, but because it is a Sunday and because it's like literally almost 1 p.m. now, I am gonna have tea because I don't need to be productive today. I like to steam my face because one, it helps the mask sort of organically fall off without me having to rub into my face of all that friction and possibly cause more damage. And it's just a lot of fun. I think it opens up pores. It's exfoliating, if you will. And it makes me feel like I'm getting a real professional facial. I decided I actually had to put my hair behind my face because it was kind of getting in the way. And also this bear headband, spa headband, so freaking cute. Actually, I'm just gonna open it up all the way, I think. And I'm gonna like put my face up. But yeah, I can really feel the mask kind of melting off, which is great. It's opening my pores up. And you have to be careful because sometimes it can get really hot really fast. Okay, so my water has stopped boiling and I think it's time to make some tea. I like to put a sugar cube in in this hoji cha. I don't know, it's just what I felt like. Sometimes I have other teas like Earl Grey, black tea. We're going to mix it up with this wooden spoon wooden spoons are superior you guys god ow i burned myself 
So I actually like to have iced tea over regular tea right now because it is getting a bit warmer outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit on the counter right now and I'm gonna go take a quick shower and rinse this off my face. I'm attempting to make one of those aesthetic drink pour videos. Okay, let's try this and hopefully it doesn't spill everywhere. Oh. It still tastes pretty good though. All right, you guys, now it's time for cooking with Emily because I'm hungry and I think it's like lunchtime now. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. I'm using shredded cheese because I don't have any sliced cheese at the moment. And also the secret to a really good grilled cheese is mayonnaise, specifically Kewpie mayonnaise if you have that. Just sprinkling on some cheese, you know, a nice thin to medium layer. Voila, here is our piece. The tomato soup that I have is literally from a carton from Trader Joe's and it's super easy. You just pour some in a bowl and microwave it. So I'm gonna start eating. Thank you so much for watching this video and for enjoying a Sunday morning with me or at least I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please make sure to check out Magic Mind in the description box below. Bye guys.